people will um, um, work there, and you know you can't you have to be careful. You can't step on them. You can't do all that kind of or stuff. Touch them. Uh, yeah, and then that's that sort of helps that economy. It's really a depressed, real depressed economy, and what's happening. Tourism is is one thing, but it's other than monarch tourism. Yeah. Oh yes. What's the technique involved in that? In catching butterflies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Knowing how far away the net is from you and trying to get them when they're standing still. Right there. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. you can... <gasps> yeah, though that's one one thing you gotta have to do in order to catch butterflies. You have to take the, take the flower that uh -huh. they're on. My name is Katie Steinhoff. I'm the interpretive horticulturist here at Callaway Gardens. And fall is a great time to see butterflies. And um, one of the jobs that we like to do is um, show the people the plants that they can grow to um, attract most butterflies to their gardens. They will be traveling from all across America here to uh, Georgia and um, beyond. So October is really a, a great time to see monarch butterflies. And what we're doing here um, this weekend is tagging the monarchs. Uh, so it was, it's kind of a, a way to record where the butterflies have passed and, and where they're going on their next stop. So if anyone happens to catch the butterfly again or find the dead butterfly with the, the small sticker on it, then they will be able to, to record all this information in a centralized location and um, get, a, get a, more, a better understanding of the migratory path of the monarch butterfly. Well, butterflies will start um, flying north um, as soon as things get warmer in the spring, they will spend the summer times, um, maybe three or four life cycles, you know, eating milkweed in, across the plains, all the way up into Canada, but all, really all across America, you'll find butterflies throughout the summertime. And a lifespan of the, the butterfly is probably um, starting from an egg, maybe three weeks as a caterpillar, 10 days in a chrysalis and then two to four weeks as a butterfly so so that'll probably happen about four times from spring until fall and um, it's just that last generation that can live for um, the longer amount of time um, to keep the species going Thank yeah it's probably not going to stand still you're the um the butterfly whisperer. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, not a monarch. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, got both of them. Did you get both of them? Yeah. But this is a good example, actually, because this one is an older one. Not this one. This is a gulf free layer. You can see his spots are real metallic. These guys are the ones that the uh, caterpillar that we saw earlier on, on the passion vine. Does that confuse the story of um, Gulf fritillaries and monarchs? I know. This, is, this is just a different species of butterfly. That's the one he just the, the one. He the one with the, the metallic. And then this guy, look at his wings. See how tattered they are and torn on the edges, mm -hmm. and the color is not nearly as bright. Um, that tells you that he's been alive a while. He's been flying around a lot, bumping into things. Hopefully, so that's, a, that's our wrinkles. Making lots of babies. Our wrinkles and gray hair. <laughs>